What's up, dudes? Welcome back to another podcast with Shimaru. <laughs> and... <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, we're, we're gonna be talking about the, the zombie apocalypse today. Um, everybody go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, guys, ah. it's, uh, JP here, um... Here for the podcast, I'm gonna be talking about some pretty sick sh- stuff. Shit, shit. You can say shit. Yeah. Don't worry, you're safe. Whole <laughs> thing now. Hey, I'm the good Julian. Uh, I'm the, I'm the good Julian in this podcast. Julian Honaker fan club. Like, comment, share. What the oh, hell is that echo? So you're the good. All right. Good luck as anyway. No, I'm kidding. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the myth. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> did you get cut out? <laughs> he did twice. <laughs> you cut me out. Much. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> you got cut out. You got cut out both times you oh, tried talking. Miss, it's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> All right, so that's a uh, it, it's me, Shimaru, Mr. Fox, Julian Honaker Fan Club, uh, my friend over here, JP, John Delphin, whatever you want to call him. Just still coming up with some. Um, it <laughs> just docks everyone. How about it? How about it? And then we have uh, Steven in the chat, the SoundCloud guy. Yeah, he's just, he's the SoundCloud boss of the SoundCloud died. rappers. All right, so um. I'm going to start off by spitting some fun facts to the podcast real quick. Wait, and then we'll wait can I say it. one thing real quick? Oh, what? Diavolo from Part 5 looks like a SoundCloud rapper. He does. So does uh, a lot of people from Part 6, like in Jolene's. Yeah, pretty much every JoJo character looks like a SoundCloud character. They do. They do the poses, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to start off by spitting some fun facts um, before we actually discuss, like, topics. So I'm going to go ahead and say, um, so the origins of um, zombies in general, they're, um, we all know Which they're most doctor? commonly found in horror movies, uh, they're, they're in fantasy genres. Um, the, uh, the middle-aged term- woman, uh, fantasy adult novels on Amazon too. Oh God. And um, the, the term zombie, it comes from uh, Haitian folklore. Um, you know, from reanimated bodies, pretty much, or reanimated corpses. I should no, say. it was wasn't it like hypnosis? What? Wasn't the original zombie concept like the witch doctor would hypnotize the dude? Yeah, that that's pretty much and from the uh, Haitian folklore. Uh, folklore. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the the term zombie comes from Haitian folklore and everything, and um, yeah, it's it's reanimate. They're reanimated through various methods. You know, magic. Um, various. Yeah, var- whatever you want to fucking call it, I don't care. It's various. <laughs> and um, the the first oh, H- zombie, w- the word zombie was first recorded in 1819. Um, it was in the history of Brazil by a poet named uh, Robert South Southy. It's like South with E Y at the end, Southy. And um, it that. was it was originally spelled zombie without the E, so zombie. Or a zombie, or you know, zombies. I prefer zombie better. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> one of the first books to expose it, to expose Western culture, um, you know, with zombies and everything, was um, it was a book called um, The Magic Island, and it was by an author named W. B. Seabrooks, and that was like in 1929. And, um, I think, oh, yeah, 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 one more thing. And, um, everybody should know, or not everybody should, but a lot of people do know, uh, George A. Romero, right? The, yeah, George Romero. Yeah, and, um, classic zombie film director. He's, he's the Amer- American Canadian, uh, filmmaker, writer, editor, all that. And, um, he did, like, pretty much all of the, uh, of the dead movies. Yeah. Dead the Dead, Dawn of the Dead. 
Right. He's the creator of, of Dawn of the Dead, Living, uh, Night of the Living Dead, all that type of stuff. He's the one who... Uh, They're made, coming to get you, Barbara. If you use, Pretty like... Pretty much popularized. Popularized, yeah. yeah. Or if you use, you know, current terms, he made it go viral, pretty much. And now it's a staple in America somewhere in horror. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get to the topics. And um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and say... Uh, Let's see. What the fuck? <laughs> so we're going to be going over the causes of uh, of, of, of uh, a zombie outbreak. Yeah. Um, the locations no, that no, you no. take. We're yeah. going to start with that. Yeah, we're going to start with that then. So um, the causes, right? What do you think are um, some of the causes that could start a zombie apocalypse? Like in, in, in today's culture. In 28 Days Later, which is a which is an amazing zombie-ish film, it's a, it's a brilliant. Um, it's got God's video you, Black Emperor, like part of the soundtrack, but it's the Rage Virus, and it was like animal testing on monkeys. Oh yeah, I saw that. And then pretty much PETA broke in, and then they tried to release the monkeys, but then the, one of the monkeys bit a dude, <laughs> and they're like, "What the hell is that?" I don't know what the hell that was. It was like some <laughs> anime Desu bitch. <laughs> yeah, and then boom, boom, boom. Zombies, they take over London. Rage Virus, really good film. Really, really fucked up one. That's great. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah. So, pretty much, uh, that would lay under like the category of like... Virus. Sci scientific experiments gone wrong or scientific testing gone wrong. Yeah. Kind of like... The um, uh, Train to Busan. That's another one. Yeah, the Train uh, to Busan. Or I Am Legend is even one. Yeah. They're not zombies. Well, they're not zombies. They're, they're more form. mutated. I was like, are they they're, zombies? They're form, Aren't they vampires? Yeah, yeah. And... It's still like a um, a virus that takes over humankind. So the movie I, I was really considering... sad because he had to kill his dog. Yeah. Then, like, I don't know why he choked it out. Why didn't he just fucking kill it quickly? You don't want to kill... I don't want to... Kill my dog by shooting. I'd rather give it. Fuck that! I wasn't joking. He would have bit me on accident or something. Well, I mean, he was like, being a little too kind. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, strangling the dog—that's not peaceful at all. I mean, like a clean shot to the head. That's instant. It's loud. Not really peaceful. But yeah, it's loud. It's way, but it's way quicker he, he than the strangling your dog. Um, and I think I think. Wait, what do you think? Well, as far as some of the causes uh, that a zombie a zombie out outbreak might actually happen, I mean, in in the uh, in the realm of uh, magic, let's say, um, I mean, that's where it, it originated. Um, as far as witch doctors are concerned, um, uh, magic um, was the original reason for a zombie outbreak. Um, another thing could be uh, viruses. Uh, something that can be transmitted uh, either through bites, uh, cuts, leisures, things like that. Um, which we're probably going to go over uh, a little later as far as uh, if you're wounded, um, how exactly is it transmitted, that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, I think another way would be like, um, let's see, in today's culture... I don't know, but if we're going into fantasy land, um, I would say like fantasy land. <laughs> fantasy land. I would I would say like um, who knows? You could say necromancy could be the start of it. You know? Yeah. It could be all types of causes. And before anyone says Evil Dead, in Evil Dead they're not zombies, they're deadites. They're, they're more so like they're different. Yeah, they're, they're demons. Dead. They're people possessed by an evil. Yeah. They, they don't they don't eat flesh. They just swallow your soul. Yeah, they. And fucking, they're wreck you that's what they do and they're comedic too <laughs> i love i love the deadites dude i love the evil dead franchise i saw the musical on halloween it was great yeah possession is way different than um a virus though or yeah um, using a but it is still a method well, it is i mean zombification something. is a form of uh is a form of possession in a way I mean, yeah you know, the, the, i won't really call it possession because they're not really it, well I, it's taking you over in a yeah. way but it's not it's it's like a uh, what's it called when something latches onto you? Um, parasite. A parasite. parasite. It's like yeah. a parasite more than more than a possession. I remember actually. 
I did watch like a zombie movie that had um like parasites. I I, I barely remember because I was like ten when I watched it. But oh, don't see. But the most I remember is like the the parasite would make their balls go up to their face or something. It was weird. That is weird. That sounds oddest. I, I don't remember much of the movie. I just remember they're in a bunker or something. And then there's a fence and a helicopter. Um, oh, so... Uh, um, that, and, we wanted uh, to... And then we were going to talk about, like, um... How fast do you think uh, a zombie apocalypse, like, could happen? Like, how fast will it roll over, like, after the first bite? I mean, after patient zero? Yeah, for pr pretty much how how fast it would uh, take over the uh, the entire the entire world. Humankind. For, yeah, humankind. Well, how well I mean, honestly, pretty much everyone and their grandmother knows about zombies. So like, if a scenario where it's like pretty much our world, I don't think it'd really take off that much. Yeah, I think they'll quarantine it pretty quickly. But whether they can hold it for very long is also a different question, though. Yeah. You guys ever see Shaun of the Dead? <coughs> yeah. I, yeah. I fucking, that's one of my yeah. favorite zombie movies, but, um, yeah, at the end of it, like, they're able to quarantine it, everything's all good and everything, and then they're able to use zombies for pretty much just manual labor and workforce. So, do you think, um, in today's, like, society, you think it'll be impossible for a zombie outbreak to happen because of our, like, defenses and technology and stuff? I wouldn't think I mean, it's it impossible. It wouldn't I mean, be impossible. Yeah, it wouldn't be impossible. I mean, for the very fact that, um... Well, if it was The Walking Dead, it wouldn't... That'd, that'd be very possible. I, I mean, in the, Resident, in the Resident Evil uh, uh, films, uh, you know how uh, the Patient Zero was walking in the middle of uh, um, busy uh, the busy streets of Japan. That's a lot yeah. of targets. Yeah. That's a lot yeah, I mean, of targets in one. It, it, that could that could uh, blow zone. off in one hour, and yeah, yeah. I mean, and, the town next to me, Rochester, it's pretty much crackhead central, so it's pretty possible that like a freshly turned zombie would just be mistaken for a crackhead, and then yeah, bada bing, yeah. bada boom, you got a you got a bunch of zombies, well, crackhead yeah. zombies. Yeah, I guess it couldn't be impossible because um, I mean, it could happen in your everyday neighborhood, and uh, you know, the government. They obviously they wouldn't know about it, but they they could lose track of the zombie. You know what I mean? And it can already be yeah. biting people as we speak. Right. And uh, you know, by the time they track it, other people are already infected, and it's spreading already. Yeah, yeah it's a, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's really like a point. it's like a quick takeover. Well, I mean, um, uh, we have to take in uh, in in effect also the the fact that um, just because just because we know about zombies doesn't mean we know how we'll react to it. Exactly. You know, we we yeah. don't know we don't know um, how we'll actually feel when some uh, when shit like this goes down. Like uh, w right now, we could we could pretty much say, "Oh man, we're gonna um, we're we're gonna survive." Uh, you know, I'm not scared of no zombies. Just shoot them in the head. Um, you know that type of thing. But like, who 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 of us actually has like training in shooting? Like, I how, have shot. Yeah, exactly. I don't have training, but I like to shoot. Yeah, I don't, right. pretty good distance. I don't have any formal training, but I'm a pretty good shot. Right. So, like, um, like it, it's like, um, it, like the fear will set in, um, and you'll yeah. start to freak out, that type of thing. So it's like the the zombie apocalypse um, could very well possibly happen. Um, I mean, if it if it's like in the south, it's pretty much just gonna be near immediately snuffed out because. Everyone in Texas loves their guns. <laughs> and I, I'm hearing some echo of myself. That's, that could be like a safe haven in the future. Like, come to Texas, it's safe here. <laughs> well, my thing is, the thing, my, my thing with zombies is like, yeah, guns are cool for like far away, but I mean... They're loud. That, and they, they're going to run out of bullets. Because you think they're going to keep production of bullets up once there's a whole, in, you know, a zombie right. apocalypse going on. Everyone's going to be trying to get to their loved ones or kill someone else. I mean, you know. even even melee weapons, you know, uh, you know, those things could break. Um, yeah, yeah, you guns can jam. To, you still need the courage to even get, yeah. get that close. And on top of that, the zombies, uh, like, you don't know how how much they could overpower you. You know how quick they can be. Like, yeah. imagine if they, it was like the zombies from World War Z. What would you do? I think oh, we'd all die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and um, we'd all die. Yeah, and 28 days later, the zombies, they're um, well, they're they're. Not really zombies. zombies, they're more so just zombie-looking humans, but they run fast as shit. 
that's what my fiance doesn't like. She's like, zombies should not be able to run at you very fast. I'm like, I mean, I think it should vary, but I don't think you just can outright say they can't run. Yeah, I, but, oh my I guess it just I think it would vary. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in, in different scenarios, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, there are there are chances where we could actually like uh, survive one hundred percent. Like for example, uh, anybody watch the High School of the Dead? Yeah. Yeah, like they're yeah. blind. They're Season blind. Two, please. They're a- uh, attracted to sound, and uh, you know, just shut up. You know why? Why <laughs> wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be blind? They're dead. Yeah, all yeah, your yeah, eyesight exactly. and all that is like faded out by then. Yeah. Yeah, and like. Um, another thing is, like, I think there would be a different variance of, like, speeds and strength and all that, too, because, like, depending on how, Wait, how late the corpses, uh, died, you know what I mean? Not the corpses, but the person. Yeah, yeah, one zombie's arms might be all rotted off, can't, can't really like grab you, then a zombie's leg might be rotted off, but then you could get, <laughs> like, a, like, a sprinter, his legs are fine, and then, boom, they're running right after you. Yeah, and then some might be too rotted to even, like, run, so they might be, I mean... Yeah, a walker. So wait, that that, that actually I like is going to bring us to Rover. one of our um other one of points. our topics. Yeah, one of our other topics is um it says the zombie variants. You know um what's possible and what's impossible as far as a zombie, an actual zombie. Like in, in World War Z, that. I find well, that I possible due to the fact evil, that they're you know they're uh, they're man. infected by virus. Um, they still have cognitive abilities. Not well, not I wouldn't say cognitive. Uh, you know they have uh they they're still able to run, um, yeah, and you know that type of thing. They they still have their muscles uh, to work with them. As, uh, aside from the, uh, you know, um, aside from actual human thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did there was a zombie movie like a while back where their their whole concept was like over time the zombies would turn back into like normal people, which I thought that concept was kind of. That was a Stupid. that was a George is- A. Romero movie. I think that was um either Land of the Dead or Dawn no, of the no. Dead. That wasn't no, that wasn't either of them. And you Land sure? of the Dead, there was just that one zombie who um kind of retained a, sl- a slight bit of re- intelligence. And in Dawn of the Dead, there was the same thing, just like a well, zombie that retained some intelligence. Well, in this movie that I'm talking about, like. Every time one of the zombies eats, like, a human's brain, they start getting, like, some of their cognitive abilities back, but they also get some of the memories of the person they just ate, so, like... Yeah, that, that is a George A. Romero movie, I think. Well, yeah, uh, Julian said it was, like, yeah. one like one zombie in each one that did it, though. Yeah. Okay. No, no, so, no, that wasn't, I, that wasn't the case in Land, or, or Land of the Dead or um, uh, Dawn of the Dead. I'm gonna look that movie up. I'm trying to find. I mean, there, I, I don't know really what good. the movie is called, but there was one where the case of zombification was depression, and later in the movie, um, at the end of the movie, they all turned back. It. it was like a chick flick. I don't, I don't. Oh, are you talking about uh, Warm Bodies? Warm Bodies. That's it. <laughs> I think it's the movie. Yeah, I think you're talking about Warm Bodies also. That's. Yep, that's exactly it. That is exactly. I just found it too. That's yeah, a little, I hated that movie. <laughs> that's that's a terrible concept. If like zombies eat someone, then they get their memories. If you eat someone's brain, it doesn't go to your brain; it goes to your stomach. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. You're basically Alex Mercer from Prototype. Those games were fun as hell. Dude, for real. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Prototype Three. Oh, for real. <laughs> you so. know, uh, back back to topic though. Uh, zombie variants. Uh. One one that I don't find possible is the like the Walking Dead series, like the zombies that come after them, um, have like they're rotted. They're they're, they're pretty rotted much and yeah. Walking. They're they're walking. They're, they're like they have no power because uh, they're like they have no muscle to even attack with. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah, I, that point just gonna be. Slight. I find that show very yeah. impossible. That one just get a baseball bat and go to town. Exactly. Like yeah, because oh yeah. Because, like, a, an actual zombie apocalypse wouldn't really last that long after the initial outbreak. Probably like a couple of years because mm. corpses can only go so long with rotting. And especially in those conditions. They'd be yeah. exposed to the air, weather, rain, all that stuff. Yeah, but so they start animals. deteriorating, especially during the summer times. Yeah, yeah that, it, <coughs> that's probably, actually the next topic. last, like, two years at the max. Like, you'd, you'd only have one supply of new zombies, which wouldn't last long. 
All right, so let's say uh, a zombie apocalypse did happen. It, it, it managed to take over the world. Uh, a group of people uh, started banding together to recreate uh, civilization. How long do you think it would take for us to um, rebuild? Uh, rebuild, yeah, pretty much. To rebuild, um, well, depending on how bad the world got, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how many people there are. Yeah, it depends on like the population and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> If it's like two people, you're not going to be able to do that. But I, I it's think like a hundred thousand, you probably could. Yeah, I think yeah. It, I think it varies. Um, uh, I I researched somewhere that uh, after there's a there's a thin line, to um, a thin line pretty much, um, after the um the human population falls under, we we can no longer uh, repopulate. Like uh, it would be impossible to get back to the numbers, uh, we have now, uh, seven right. billion. Just be incest babies. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That'd be worse the than the fucking out, zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we did get below that fault line, honestly, do we really need to get back up to that number? To be perfectly honest. I mean, it would take, yeah. it, it would take centuries. It would take centuries. Well, yeah, plus, if we were still yeah. devastated from the zombie apocalypse, we, we wouldn't even be able to support the massive numbers. Oh, we yeah. can barely do that right now. And we would honestly, true. and to even get back to where we were in general, it would take centuries. Like, uh, as a, you know, even with like uh, technology and all that type of stuff too. Right. We would well, have to redo devastated. everything. Back I mean, because I mean, if you would, I, bubonic plague 2.0. Yeah. Almost everything. We could skip some things. I mean, well, if I mean, if you think about it though, like if if a zombie apocalypse happens, the last thing we're thinking about is books. And uh, uh, knowledge about you know electricity you know shit like that. Yeah. I mean, well, unless you have somebody in yeah. your group that knows about that type of uh, that that type of thing, uh, well, you'll you better just have come to live with me. With I'm an electrician. I do this for a living. And then still, that's only one person. Yeah, that's one person. You know, you you'll need mechanics to for the upkeep of the machines. Yeah, exactly. No, in my look, I'll just have like a dentist or some shit with me. <laughs> 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 he will. He'll help you from keep your teeth clean. Journey. It'll he'll keep the zombies away. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna move into our next topic, and it's um, pretty much saying um, when it first starts, what where do you think what what or what's your first location that you would choose to go to? Oh, let's at see. the very start, Tennessee. So oh, the Winchester the Opryland Hotel. Oh yeah, I would, a hotel. I no, have you seen Opryland Hotel? Oh, it's like Opryland it's Hotel. Okay. Mm, that's a bit too open. I, I don't know. It's too open for me, man. Too much glass. Yeah, and, there's glass everywhere. And, and you know, uh, people are there all the time. You know, who's to say it's not already overrun? I mean, you can say that about any place, though. Yeah, true, true. 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 Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, how long would you last in there, though? You wouldn't have much to go by but shelter. Like, you would you would have weapons, I guess, fit, like, you know, melee weapons... But there's no type of armory in there, like for guns and stuff like that. There's no, there's Bet only a limited know. amount of food in there, compared to other places. You know what I mean? I mean, my workplace, the castle, there wouldn't be like too much food-wise or a uh, weapon-wise. But I mean, it's got big, heavy doors. The basement's pretty big and pretty hard to get in. I feel like that'd be a pretty decent spot. How Honestly, about a bank? My look, I'd be at the hospital where I work. A bank would wouldn't be a bad idea. Big vault. Yeah, the what big vault. Yeah. But what about food and stuff? You just trap well, yourself mean, in there? I mean, with the vault, you know, that's where you stockpile all your, all your food. And once the uh, place gets run over, I mean, um, you That's know. what I'm saying. Like, where would you go before you even, like, took shelter there? Uh, took shelter there? Like, well, <laughs> before you actually took your shelter, where is the first place that you would even go? Damn it, Jerry, I'm going to Kmart. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Moose, if I or, can't ride or out would to you just take shelter? with some good CDs, I might as well be dead. <laughs> but some people might just go take shelter and not think about food until later, until they they get their safety. Honestly, you know what I'd I mean? I'd probably be like out in the woods somewhere to be real. I mean, I, I would go to the countryside. I mean, the first rule uh, for me is to, is to like pick up a melee weapon. All right, and, and uh, you know something to defend myself with, and worry about surviving at that moment. And uh, once I recollect myself, then probably I'll think of somewhere to go. Um, I'm 
not gonna go for the uh, gun shop or the you know the gun shop right away. I'll probably go to like some fucking academy or Dick Sporting Goods. And that's still yeah. Overrun. Yeah, that's probably overrun. Too. Main, mainstream stores are gonna get overrun really fast. Yeah, especially especially Walmart. gun stores. Walmart, yeah. gun stores, Kroger, grocery stores in general. This is this is the time to appreciate um, um, entrepreneurship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not wrong. I mean, for me personally, a zombie apocalypse, I would pride melee weapons over firearms. I would keep firearms on me, but yeah, I'm not melee weapons seems over a melee weapon. Here. Melee weapons, you don't have to worry about jamming with those. Okay, so my logic on that, um, I would have many melee weapons. That would be my main, you know, type of uh, armory, but. I would uh, also keep a firearm just in case because you can't trust other human beings. No, and that's, that's also the other problem you got to deal with. It's like you can trust yeah, them, but only to a certain people extent. People are crazy yeah. nowadays. Yeah, people do get crazy. Oh yeah, for real. It'll, like, pro it'll probably be like Dead Rising, where like your main concern is really just other people instead of like zombies. You can just mow down, you know. What I mean? Yeah, people um they would either go crazy or they would try to raid you for your stuff and kill you in the process. Right. It's not just robbing you. They would kill you. Yeah, exactly. To ensure you won't come after them. You know what I mean? It's about survival of the fittest, pretty much. Yeah, and in, in, in their defense, you know, they're yeah, they're just trying to survive. Yeah. You know? And uh, if you think about it, the more people, just like what Julian said earlier, the more people, the more mouths you have to feed. True. Yeah. You know? Oh. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's bringing me over to another topic, talking about the amount of mouths to feed and stuff. Um... Uh, would you stay with a group or would you stay alone? Do you think it would benefit you more, like, with the other I, one over... I mean, if it's a group, do I know the people? Like, if it's my buddies, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll these people? stay in a group with them. Well, I'm it's sure like a bunch gonna, of strangers at Walmart. Hell I'm, no. I'm sure you're going to meet a, a few random people here and there. I mean, sometimes... I mean, you, that's fine. That's to be expected, though. But uh, if you that that is if your friends even survive, you know what I mean? Because you won't be yeah. with them when it starts more more than likely. Oh right, well, then let's Sorry, go over Crest, some uh, pros and cons of having a group and not having a group. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so a, a pro of having a, a group is that you're you're able to uh, you're not alone. You're not going insane. You know, uh, if, especially shifts. yeah, especially during like uh, occurrences like that. You know, uh, being all by yourself, you're always in constant fear. Having somebody there would you know, pretty much like calm you down. You know, it, yeah, you got you got a little bit of protection. Yeah. At the same time, you got. Yeah. So, if, um, crazy people. Uh, Jerry over here is uh, you know, push him down, run away, that type of thing. You know. Oh God. At least you'll know, you have something like a backup. <laughs> well, he might do I the mean, same thing to you. I that's the thing. You that's another. Yeah, that's future. a con. You know. And uh, another thing with a big group is the fact that somebody is going to assume the mantle of leader in the group. Yeah, that's always going to happen. That, that's like, going to happen. I don't want it. I'm, I'm not a leader. I'm, I'd rather be number two. Somebody's like, always going like, to think... Like, somebody's always going to think that their ideas are better than everybody else's and that they should be the leader because of that reason. And, yeah, um, and I'm the guy that shuts that down. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> like especially people with like um, high authority before the uh, before the zombie apocalypse happened. Like let's say the sheriff, you know the sheriff. He'll be like, well, yeah. you know, I'm. Um, uh, I'm the sheriff. Yeah, you know, I'm the I'm, I'm the trained. fucking sheriff. I'm trained to do. I'm this, trained you know? and I know no. shit about shooting things. You know, so so he'd automatically think he's the leader above all of you. He'd he'd say he has more strength, more intelligence on the matter. Like, even though it's zombies, but, like, he still knows how to shoot and fight, you know, more than anybody else. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he can survive over everybody else. But. I mean, uh, the fact that, uh, you know, he was the sheriff, he was, uh, he was, he's the head of a uh, uh, police precinct, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So he has a bit of management in under his belt also. He does. So maybe that that's what gives him, like, the idea that, hey... I, I should take I should take this uh, man. I mean, well, yeah. If, if you have any type of like authority, a, uh, arrogant way, then I'll let him. But for, like for the most part, I don't lead. But I'm usually the person that makes sure the person that is in the lead isn't going on a power trip because I'll x you off real quick. Right. Uh, well, the thing is with that also, like, you you stopping that person to power, like, what? Who's to say that he won't like? 
kill you overnight or something to get you to shut up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's his best. That's his best bet. Kill the one I open. Yeah. So there's there's so many things that can just get you killed yeah. over stupid shit. Yeah, that's the problem. Even with even with zombie apocalypse happening, politics still takes over. All the time. All the time. No matter no matter what. Uh, politics will always happen. Intrigues, for example, uh, murdering somebody who who you think is, you know. That's oh, that's gonna be the biggest thing. Yeah. You know, like whether if you should kill or uh, let somebody go, you know, if you let them go, there's gonna be some kind of consequence. Maybe. There's gonna be some beef. There maybe there will. Like you may get lucky, and the person might just run off and never come back. But you got beef. I got a one sauce. So let's more go. than likely, <laughs> they're gonna try to attempt to come and steal your shit again or get revenge. We're still humans. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's but it's so- weird though, because we fight so much, but by nature we're social creatures. Yeah, right, right. and then the thing is, and it's like, um, if you do end up killing that guy, who's to say that we're not, like, we are animals, but like, we're not barbaric. You know what I mean? We can't just go around just killing extent. anybody. Right. I mean, most people are gonna be like putting them up, putting up blood eagles everywhere. Oh my goodness! So you watch Vikings, huh? <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. yes, dude, that's what it's from, yes. <laughs> Having your lungs flapping around like wings, that's nice. But hey, um, you know, uh, for, for me, I think, like, having a small group would be okay. But um, for it to grow into, like, a, a large group, it, it, it's, hard to mi- it's hard to manage. You'd have um, to gain their trust. That's true, and Which also the hard. fact that even if you do have their trust, like, you know, trying to run away from a zombie, um, like, your travel time will be reduced quite a lot, because that's a, you know, for a big group, you you're still trying have to... to worry about other people. Exactly. I think so... I would, I think I would honestly stick with a, um, a small group all the way through, like, about four to six people, yeah, I would I was say. gonna say four to five people is what I would go with. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, ten. 10, I mean, mm, 10 is okay. 10 is fine. I would never go past 10. I, I would. I don't care who you are. I mean, that's like, probably no with any group, to be honest. Yeah. You need two people and have a problem. You're going to clash at some point. Some point. Somebody's going to break. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you do when someone in your group is either falling behind during a zombie attack or you find out that they've been infected? Me, <sighs> I'm all about cutting it, cutting the snake off at the head. So, I'm like, bro, you got it. Gets to go. You gotta go. Yeah, that's me I mean, too. If one of my buddies is infected, I'd rather put him put him out of their misery than watch him turn. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Like I'm I'm like, dude, you, like I, I don't want to see my you're best dead. Friend. Yeah, I mean, if, <laughs> I don't, don't want to see my best friend turning into a monster. Yeah, right. that's that's not cool. But like, what if he wished that? You know what I mean? Because some people yeah. don't want to get killed. They want to just go ahead and turn. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they don't want to feel the pain, even though it is painful to turn. Well, you better well, I mean, tell you me you wouldn't feel the pain if you up. got a bullet See, going through your head. Yeah, if you exactly. got a bullet, just like a knife no, it, through your I, eyes. That's I know, but it, it's it's still the fear of death. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, which and is, you know it's coming. Which is something is, that you could actually, uh, you know, uh, talk, you know, you, you uh, for me anyways, if I ever was bitten, like, um, uh, if it was a slow transition into being a zombie, I'll sit down, take the gun myself and pull the trigger. So nobody else has to deal with that. Yeah, I'd probably kill yeah. myself too. Yeah, and but 28 days later, it's a really fast turn. Like yeah, it 10 is. Minutes, it's like I'd it's say. like five seconds. Same thing with the uh, World yeah, uh, World War Z. That that was pretty quick. They do turn pretty yeah, fast. That was quick. I think they turned every 15 seconds. Yeah, 13 seconds. <clears throat> um, it's insane, dude. Yeah. So I mean, so, for I mean, me, um, if I got bit, I would hope that I would have the courage to tell everyone, like, look, y'all. I got bit, so you know, just just go. I probably like just go ahead and do it now. I don't want to wait. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to have no second thoughts, no regrets. I'm like just just go ahead and end me, or I'll do it. Give me a gun, whatever. I'll cut. And that's throat. another problem with having a big group too. Um, uh, well, going on what you just said, um, what I would do, depending on the the turn time, you know what I mean. By the time you you know you you get bitten, if you do. You would know how long it takes to turn, at least, if you don't die early, that is. But um, the way I would go about it, if it was a longer, like, turn time, at least, like, an hour or two or something like that, I would either um, try to find some kind of, well, that's risking your life, by the way, but I'm already dead by then. I would try to go to a um, pharmacy 
and find sleeping pills or I would just try to go to sleep and I, I would tell them like if I'm asleep go ahead and put me out of my misery fuck all that I'm gonna smoke my last cigarette and pop it <laughs> you think you'll be a thug like that <laughs> yeah yeah just, just give me a cigar yeah, I'm actually going out like a jeep <laughs> going out like big papa out here <laughs> But, you know, uh, it's funny how we're talking about a zombie apocalypse, and yet the, the, the thing that we fear the most during a zombie apocalypse is us, like the people themselves, the I ones know, that are actually so are still humans. Yeah, because, like, the problem is with that is Humanity that, like, always grows they, itself. Like, humanity, yeah, and, like, we have to worry about, like, another threat, which is human, and they still have freaking um, well, I, intelligence honestly, on their side. So. My bad. Like, honestly, I think it stems from, like, it, with the zombies, you know what they're after. You know when the zombie sees you, it's pretty much on sight, or if it hears you or whatever. With humans, you don't know. It's like, you might see a random guy. I don't know if this guy's a friend. I don't know mm -hmm. if he wants to help me out. I mean... And you know they, he has some kind of intelligence. Like, he could plot against you easily. There's people that's just straight up crazy. Like, and they could play as your friend and kill you instantly. Yep. You know what I mean? There's, there's so many scenarios with human beings, because we're... Human beings are so good at killing human beings. <laughs> right. It, it's kind of sad. Like, human beings are good at... I think if we if the world were to end, it would be because of human beings. And, and like, just like... Uh, I, I don't remember what it was. It Was it Day of the Dead, the one that we uh, we watched recently? Was it Day of the Dead? But, you know, uh, the guy Dawn has... Dawn of the Dead. The, Dawn of the Dead. So, pretty much, he, his wife was having a baby. The remake, by the way. Yeah. His, his wife was having a baby, and... Um, Original Sebastian. Yeah, so pretty much, uh, how would you feel if you're if you're if uh, you're not the leader of the group, right? Uh, you have one of your family members, let's say your brother or a really close, uh, you're, if you're really close to uh, your sister, brother, whatever, and uh, he's bitten, and they want to kill him. Like, how would you react to that? Yeah, you most likely be like, no, don't fucking shoot him. Exactly. But, but like, you know, I'm not going to be that idiot either to be like, no, yeah. he's fine. Let him still stay with us, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, I'll sit uh, down and talk to my brother or whoever it is that I love. Yeah, I think I'd have to be like, okay, if we got to kill him. Can I, I, I think I need to be the one. It can't be any of you. Right. Yeah. It would, it would hurt, like, unmeasurably, but... But I would have to take that burden upon myself. Or if it was vice versa, I would hope that one of my friends or my family would, you know, be like, look, man, we got to end you. And I'd be like, as, as long as it's you, you know, I'm fine with it. Yeah, and hopefully you don't have some asshole in a group that just straight up shoots you, to be honest. Right. Like, the moment they hear you, that's what, that's what people fear when they do get bitten, is the fear of somebody else just lashing out and be like, oh, shit, you're dead, pile. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> there are a lot of assholes out there. <laughs> They are. They're just strictly yeah. thinking about safety. Yeah, just at least let me get a chance to say bye, guys, before I just fucking eat my head off. Like, we, we still need to be human in some way, like, with some kind of morals still left over, you know what I mean? And and then you're you're always <laughs> hopeful. You know, be, being in that type of situation, you're always hopeful that some sort of cure would pop up. So you don't want them to die, you want them to be cured. You know, so, so pretty much you... Um, you're you're holding on to them, which which can be very dangerous for you and your group. You know, uh, you know that that's uh, w w what's his name, the 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 doctor from um, Walking Dead. Uh, Herschel. Herschel. You know, um, you know he believed that those people were still people. He you thought know? that they could be cured. Yeah, you know, that they could be cured. You know, so he kept them in a in a in a shed. A barn shed, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't watch that show, but I don't agree with it, like, at all. I get his method behind it, but I don't agree with it. Yeah, nobody agreed with it but him and his family. Because, mm -hmm. <coughs> like I said, they were hopeful. They were, they, were, they were hoping something like that would, you know, would come up and yeah, pretty much. I think once you're dead, you're dead. Yeah. You can't be reanimated back to life. <laughs> Especially if you're, your head's partly off. Yeah, like, you're right, exactly. Yeah, you're, you're done. Like you're writing, like yeah. By the time they found the cure, you'd probably have like le uh, like uh, cuts that go deep, and it's already cut your. Uh, not even your, that. Your body rotted. You're like, rotting, yeah. You're not gonna be healthy when you come back. Eventually, you're gonna just die off anyway, because your body's I not mean, in good condition. Right. But you'd have to pretty much amputate every gangrenous piece of your body. 
I mean, I don't just be fucked. Yeah, I don't want to go through that, and I wouldn't want anyone to go through that either. I'm like, I don't want to live in an iron lung. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, speaking speaking of point. um speaking of like loved ones, someone close to you, um, it brings me to the point of uh animals. Like, if you had a dog companion, let's say, like, um, we don't see a lot of movies where uh, animals are infected, but if animals are infected, there is no chance that humans would ever like uh, would ever no. even yeah, survive. Yeah, animals can get infected. We're through. Yeah, yeah if, dude, if animals not, were to be dude. infected, let's say mosquitoes. Like you don't oh, even see them coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm be wearing a bee suit. Uh, what is that? A bee, a bee pro uh, sting protector or whatever? <laughs> Walk around with that. Never come out of that thing. I'll never what? take a shower. Ooh, you a funky motherfucker. <laughs> I'm a funky living motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it too, if you take a shower, who's to say that the water isn't infected? After, after, uh, after a zombie yeah, outbreak. Yeah, you have to water. Yeah. Like a zombie outbreak happens. Um, the government shuts down. Um, all of the utilities cut off, um, you know, roadway, roadways are blocked, and who's to say that the government themselves aren't trying to keep you in there to quarantine? You know, really? humanity is fucked. That's all what it boils down to. I don't know if you guys have ever read the John Dies at the End series, but in the second book, with the, um, the outbreak, like the zombie-ish outbreak... The government is trying to keep them all quarantined in that town. Uh, wait, yeah. what are you talking about? Because I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, the book series John Dies at the End. The sequel, this book is full of spiders. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, John yeah. Dies at the End, yeah. You read the books? They're really good. I gotta get the third one. I've seen the movie, too. The, mo the movie's a good adaptation, yeah. but nowhere near as good as the books. Because in the second one, the thing that <laughs> makes the zombies and also, like, really fucked up it, they're more of like a dead space type of zombies in which they'll evolve into other terrifying things. Um, it's done by invisible spiders crawling into your jaw and like taking over your brain. It's kind of like a parasite. Uh, parasites. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, there, yeah, it is parasite. Yeah, there is actually uh, there's actually a few a uh, few things um, in this world right now that uh, causes zombification. Um, nothing cordyceps. major. Yeah, the mushroom. Yeah, the yeah, nothing yeah, major. Cordyceps. Uh, Last of Us. That's a legit thing, although it's only affects mm. ants. That is, yeah, that is yeah. a legit thing. It, it does it to animals, right? Yeah, yeah, ants. You said ants. Ants, yeah, it does yeah. it to ants. The um, I forgot it. It's a, it's a fungi. It's a type of fungi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's um, also, also there's uh, there's snails. worms. I think they're called the uh, horseshoe horsehair horsehair worms. Uh, so the horsehair worms pretty much uh in their larva state. Uh, they, they're, by the way, they're found, um, in the America, in, in America in general. So in Thank the waters so. of America, if one of your pets, like, uh, small bugs, pets, um, were to drink the water that has the larva in it, um, it'll grow into, um, um, horsehair, um, worms, and it'll slowly pretty much zombify them. You know, trying to take them out of there, it's a very rare chance of the host surviving. Right. Ugh. So we're closer than I thought. The thing we about them, and it says they're not parasites of humans, livestock, or pets. No, it's, um. Um, so. I wanted to go over, um. Your heroics. Like. I know we already like kind of discussed this. Like in, in way, Destiny, we didn't go in. No. <laughs> <laughs> My <Marvel? future? laughs> I think I'm a superhero. <laughs> uh, but... Hold up, let, let me go ahead and chime in on the whole heroics thing. Um, I don't believe in that. Not not for me personally. I don't know about the rest of you. Great job. Don't be a hero. But, um, don't be I'm a not hero. I'm gonna be a hero. I'm not. Uh, I am sometimes a bastard i'm like you know what i probably could save him but you know i put myself at risk that you doesn't know, really make really you a bastard it. though you're just talking you're just thinking about your you're safety just, you're it's, surviving, it's, it's yeah. logical you're surviving hey try to save your own hide um but now if you were saying like you know intentionally sabotaging yeah if, if it's it's different if you know if jerry is right here in front of you and you push him down like i was talking about earlier now that's a bastard <laughs> move 
right? Yeah, getting the other <laughs> person killed. To be a real but what if you don't like you cut their Achilles real quick. Yeah, like, oh, shit, fuck you, guy. Just fuck you, dude. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, but I think the heroic thing, it depends on your personality. And it's also uh, with uh, chivalry. It's also um, pride, most of all. It's pride. It's um, morals. It, it's all based on the personality that makes you have the heroics. Like, um, just letting you know, fuck that. Not me. I mean, I might love that person. <laughs> okay, or okay, like okay. That. Let's mm, okay. Let's think really about hard. it. Let's think about it. Okay, Tomorrow, so you, you can't say that you, you wouldn't help some a certain person. Right. So let's say if I was if I was um, if okay let's let's say you were like in uh you you were in a pinch. And I was close by. I'm gonna leave you ass behind. I'm just saying. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. But uh, if it was like my mom, or if it was like uh, my brother or something, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna be like, oh shit, I gotta do something. Exactly. Like, it, it's gonna I kick mean, in. No matter what, it it's going to on kick who in. It is. You feel like you I mean, if it was protect. a family member or a close friend for me, like I'd try to help out you guys. Yeah. No, yeah, knows. Some knows. There's, there's a thin <laughs> yeah, line between me and my friends. Like, I love the fuck out of my friends, but like, <laughs> I'm not about to die for y'all. <laughs> right? Fuck I'll, y'all. I'll put up a. <laughs> I'll, I'll put up a picture for you. Well, sure. <laughs> like, I'll I, remember that when we do have a No, 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 no. Let me let me explain myself. If I see you walking around, I'll shoot you. That's how much I love you. Let me let me explain myself. Uh, so let me ask you for help with my daily roulette no no I, okay i wouldn't i wouldn't help you in general i but i would um uh, attempt to do something but like if you're being horde if you're being surrounded by a horde fuck that it's over i would yeah, yeah, a couple oh, yeah. Near yeah you and give you a fighting chance surrounded. see th- this this goes back to our uh, our conversation about you know uh just taking the gun and pointing it at your head that type of or thing. throwing yeah. a gun at yeah. you i'd be like here nigga i mean dude <laughs> <laughs> we can say shit and like, fuck but we can't say that shamar <laughs> so like shamar said if you're surrounded by a horde then yeah you know yeah, good, it's over. GG, you're, you're done but i know i talk a lot of ish but honestly i probably would try to help as many people as i could just because no, i would feel bad because i'm like you know if it was me i would you know i would i would hope and pray that someone would be like show me some decent humanity which is lack thereof nowadays that you know they would help me but but if it's like you're surrounded then now you, you, you're done I'm, I'm out i mean, mm, I mean if i had a gun or something long range i would try and help as many people as i could that's what like, i'm saying like i would shoot the ones surrounding him to give him a fighting chance but like i'm not gonna yeah. run over there physically to you and die but you yeah, know exactly. you, you don't just run it's out hard. and uh do some heroics just for the very fact that you know oh um, if if I save this guy, he might do the same thing for me later on. No, fuck that. No, I don't do it for that reason. No, fuck it's that. just oh, me no. in general. It's no, my mindset. You, trust that shit yeah. for nothing. you don't have to even repay me in any way. It's just if I want to help you, I will. Um, right. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go 100 percent on helping you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna help you to a certain. No, you might so. get like 20 percent out of me. <laughs> yeah, like it, it depends on the situation. Minimum amount this isn't effort. even my full power. <laughs> It, it depends on the situation. This is my true form. That's all you're getting, though. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Well, let, let's say, um, let's say you, uh, you're really hurt, right? And you're, you're limping. And we have moderate, like, we have zombies at a moderate speed. Like, not they're not running or jogging, like but a, they can like a fast paced walk. They're, they're speed they, walking. Yeah, they're they're speed walking. Speed they have walking. A, I'm done. Kill me. They have a, <laughs> they have a fast paced walk with them. Like they're walking with fucking authority. With <laughs> right and, authority. and um, they're walking. To the walk they're, they're walking faster than you is what I'm saying. And um, yeah, then I'm dead. Shoot I'm, me. I, like I said, I'm gonna do as much as I can. I'll shoot the ones behind you that's closest. But I'm not wasting all my bullets. That's right. But I mean, how many zombies oh, are there? Because yeah, if it's no. just yeah, three, you can just drop, drop and bash them over the head with a baseball bat. Well, that's another thing with zombies is that they uh, they have a tendency to uh, um, to create a horde. Uh, it's it's like they're attracted to each other, to where whenever one's walking, another one will follow it. Mm. Yeah, it's like a hive mind thing or something. Yeah, it is like much. a hive mind. Yeah. It's like a natural hive mind thing. And then for some reason they start to migrate 
um, into different uh, different places. There's not exactly um, any movies that explain that. I mean, I mean, if there is, please uh, please enlighten me. But uh, for for them to just migrate um, in big numbers like that, it's as if they have uh, some sort of goal set in mind. Uh, I mean, in World War Z, yes, there is. Um, in World War Z, the reason that they uh, they group up is because um, uh, they they sense um, somebody who isn't sick. So they sense somebody who isn't um, like, for example, in World War Z, there was somebody, there was a kid who was, uh, I think, she, I think he had leukemia or something like that. Right. And uh, they, they, they just pretty much skipped them uh, and headed straight for the people who had, like, uh, deathly, uh, who uh, who didn't have anything, um, any diseases. Yeah, oh yeah, didn't, like, the guy, like, didn't Brad Pitt infect himself with, like, AIDS or something? Yeah. And then he was able to get by? Yeah. <laughs> who? Uh, Brad Pitt was the one that played in World War Z. Oh yeah, he did. Was that AIDS? I don't know what he what, what he. No, was I don't disease. think it was. AIDS. I think it was like. Uh... I think he pretty much just put like every disease in the book in a blender and then just shoved them in them. Oh. But yeah, they they didn't chase anybody with sickness. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the first movie that done something like that. I remember the book was way different because the book was more so like different accounts of people's zombie experiences rather than one big linear story. So, um, here's a topic that I'm going to make up real quick. So, um, if you could choose who would be in your group and how many, how many people would you have and uh, what type of people would you have in your group, like skill wise? Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not let me, talking let me, about family and all that. Okay, um, let me, let me think. Uh, randoms. Goku? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Deadpool? <laughs> I have one punch, man. He, he just yeah. punched you. Saitama. <laughs> <laughs> Saitama could just wreck the world. Uh, Can I just get Tatsumaki then? Can I get Rathalos in oh, my right. group? <laughs> the Rathalos just... <laughs> no, you need Nerd Gigante. Oh my we're, god. Doing, we're doing a fantasy zombie league. Right. I guess. Uh, so... Give me Jotaro. Yes! No, I want, I want you. <coughs> oh, okay, never oh, mind. Uh, no, fuck all the fantasy no, no, shit. No, no, listen. Uh, I wouldn't <laughs> no. take any heroes. Can I, can I get Mad Max? No, don't take any heroes oh because uh, there Jordan. was a comic. Um, yes, where all of them turned into zombies. Dornio would be perfect for this. So Deadpool, because he killed them. Oh my god! Might kill you too, though. Dude, Zell, why do you do it? Maybe he'll get bored. No, you know what? You know what would be the best stand for a zombie apocalypse? Emperor. Ah, oh, slick. Yeah, you could just get whole horse yeah. on your team. But you yeah. limit unlimited ammo gun. You just summon in your hand. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Oh shit. And you right. can control the bullets. That'd be like the best stand besides <laughs> old experience Requiem. Oh, or, the, so. or the world. What well, if actually, it turns into like a virtual game. You gain Ooh, experience. Uh, <laughs> um, Killer Queen. You can just think, touch him and explode. Yeah, well, Killer I, Queen I think, would be great. I think um, uh, Giorno would have a good power. Oh god. Yeah, gold yeah. experience is fucking broke. He has the power of life, oh. so. Yeah, but uh. I just perfect. a uh, plant tree next to me and oh, fucking yeah. eat some bananas or something. I don't <laughs> even like someone. bananas, but something. Hey, surviving. Yeah, yeah, Popo is gonna eat his banana, but then the banana turns into a gun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can turn a banana into a gun. You, know, you can do all types of stuff hey. with his power. Hey, since zombies are technically dead, could... Hmm. But, could um, you wanna like, give life to him, maybe? But uh, aside know. aside from the, the fantasy stuff, like, if it were just real life... Like uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. <laughs> in his prime, oh my god. You would have Arnold Schwarzenegger? In his well, prime. What, well what if you couldn't like recognize anything he like said to you? I, I can understand what he's saying. Get to the chopper! You just, yeah. <laughs> he's not a he's not a tumor. Yeah, you must go. <laughs> go now. <laughs> no offense, Arnold, if get you ever down. watch get this. Get your head down in the in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I don't want I don't want Arnold Schwarzenegger from that junior movie where he gave birth to a kid. Wait, what? 
There's an Arnold movie where he got pregnant. What? And Danny DeVito was in it. Oh, at all. Arnold, is there something you're not telling us, bro? <laughs> um, um, no. I guess a couple of my buddies. Um, my mom. Um, I don't know. It's my mom and some of my buddies. All right, so uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. So honestly, okay. if 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 I was Mad to Max. choose a group, I'd probably have a group of six. I'd have at least um, uh, some people who uh, who are good at shooting. Um, I'd have a doctor with me. Uh, even even a vet uh, would be uh, would be all right. You know, um, I'd have somebody who has a little bit of know hows about um, the the like flora. Um, what I mean by that is the, um, the wild, the, yeah, the plants. wild plants and stuff. Yeah, plants and stuff. So, for example, if I'm ever out in the forest trying to survive, um, I know what to pick and what not to pick. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah a good so, one. so I'll have uh, I'll have uh, people who can um, who can handle themselves. I'll have people who um, who can uh, patch up somebody if they ever need it. Um, oh, you probably want to get a couple hunters if animals can't get the infection. Right. Oh yeah. Choose wisely. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, that, yeah. Choose wisely. That's why you pick Goku. I'd have a hunter. <laughs> I'd have a hunter. I'd have a doctor, or nurse. It doesn't matter. A, a doctor, more than likely. Um, I'd have some kind of uh, mechanic or somebody with like the brains to like create something out of anything, like double D. <laughs> um, double D. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'd have. I'd also have, um, I know this sounds funny, but I'd have some kind of uh, chef of some sort. Oh, a cook? Oh, yeah. oh, I mean, that's, that, that's that, a good idea. That knows how to, because, you know, not everybody knows how to cook everything. You can get, yeah. there's probably diseases or worms inside of certain animals or something that we don't even know about. Yeah. And, and plus, can, if I have to eat food paste, I'd rather be dead than eating bland food paste for the rest of my life. And that, I, gotta I, have I, taste. And I'd also have like a survivalist, like he said, that knows about plants and stuff like that. Um, Boy Scouts. <laughs> so that that pretty much be my uh, thing. My buddy Chris was an Eagle Scout, I think. He'd be useful. Although he has he has scoliosis. Oh, and a marksman. So yeah, I guess get... that'd be your hunter. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, um, like uh, having having people who the, uh, uh, do not they don't exactly specialize in uh, fighting. Um, you know, they don't exactly, they can't exactly hold their, their own. Um, I mean, like, for example, he said a chef, um, that would actually be good for a morale, uh, for morale whenever you, you, you're with your group, you know, um, it, it'll keep the spirits up. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Yeah, he can make this food. That is true. That's, um, that's something. And, and you know, I'm... I'm actually I've actually wanted to say this for a little while now. Um going back to the zombie variants. Now, um anybody ever played Left 4 Dead? Yeah, oh, yeah, tanks yeah. would be impossible. I mean, yeah, it would just be impossible to survive in if, that. If type it of were scenario. variants like those, <laughs> yeah, so or wrong. hunters or <laughs> any uh, anything in that game. Which is all you're, you're, you're dead. dead. You're Resident, <laughs> Resident Evil <laughs> zombies. Oh, Lickers. you're dead. First off, they have intelligence oh, because hunters know how to hunt certain uh, humans. That's right. They get the one in the back, pretty much. Uh, Dude, spitters. Smokers. They spit and block your way. They they have they have some type of intelligence of some way. I mean, because you know humans play them, but still. Don't, yeah, don't forget about yeah. smokers. They can just pick you off from afar. Yeah, they can just fucking use their big ass tongues and fucking get you and hang the shit out of you. Imagine out of you're in the forest and he's there, and then all of a sudden your friend disappears, sort of like in a predator and shit. <laughs> yeah, and let, let's not even get started on witches. Yeah, you hear crying, just run. The other yeah, way. just run the other yeah. way. I mean, that should be your first instinct, anyways. You know, somebody crying, oh, somebody died that way. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. You know, um, so you know. Or, or, let's see. Especially um, when you attract other zombies. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, pretty much. But if variants went that far, no, I don't think humankind would survive uh, a month. Yeah. 
No, um, so th there's a game that I've actually uh, been playing. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys would know. It's called State of Decay. Oh, yeah. oh I played yeah. some on my Xbox. Like, it was yeah. really fun. Yeah, so you know, you know how the zombies work in that one. You know, you could get bitten as many times as you want to, but you don't turn into a zombie. I thought they just hit you. Um, no, they hit you and bite you. Um, oh, okay. they they'll bite the shit out of you. Um. But you don't exactly turn into a zombie. Uh, the only time you'll turn into a zombie is just like in The Walking Dead. When you die, that's when you turn into a zombie. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's already infected. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that, that type of world sucks. Dude, the Walking I know. Dead, I think that's yeah. one of the worst ones, to be honest. Like, it seems like it's not that bad because there's walkers, but that's not where you're worrying about in The Walking Dead. It's all about people and death. Yeah. Like I never... What? What about what about what about the zombies from like uh, RE4 or something? Like RE4, oh, Resident Evil. Anything in Resident Evil can fuck us dude. up. Yeah, like, uh, if, if we have Resident Especially Evil, especially that dude that picked up a machine those, those gun. Are not, those are not fucking dude, zombies. Dude, Nemesis those are would just mutants. <laughs> right. Nemesis uh, would. Uh, uh, those are fucking mutants. He could solo humanity just like that. Like yeah, fucking. dude is indestructible. You guys ever read Marvel Zombies? Uh, yeah, that's, that's the one that, uh, he was talking, wait, no, you were probably talking about DC. Yeah, yeah, that, I was talking about, um, no, it was Marvel. It was? Yeah, because, okay. um, everybody turned into a zombie, and I don't know who killed them all. I think it was Deadpool. No, 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 Deadpool turned into a zombie. Oh, that Deadpool one, turned into a zombie? It was, um, someone else, but Marvel Zombies was good. Imagine Remember if they the all back you know. happened, though. Like, what would you do if, uh, if superheroes all of a sudden turn into zombies? What would you do? You, you, what I, would I Jesus just, do? Come what on. Mean, I, what would you do? You wouldn't do a I, thing I, I, but I accept your death. <laughs> You're right. You better sit down and accept that fate. <laughs> now forget that. I'm gonna go out like a G. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna die you first. You're doing nothing. <laughs> you, you, you're not gonna do shit you against zombies, Spider-Man. Or zombie you know, Hulk. Shit talk? I'm gonna like, fuck you, Spider-Man. I killed Gwen. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 Spidey, you've been hanging around Gwen, uh, Gwen recently? <laughs> you know, in, in, a, in a zombie uh, apocalypse, uh, it's actually pretty good to uh, keep your, um, keep some level of, um, uh, comedy i guess you could say like kind of like oh, yeah deadpool. keep morale up yeah keep morale up like for example if if ever that were like if spider-man came up at me or something i'd be like you're not so friendly damn it you know that type of thing oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. i still gotta get the spider-man game all right so that brings us to a topic um what would be some of the rules uh that you would incorporate within your group uh, uh, if you like Sword Art Online, you're getting fed to the zombies. <laughs> this is a berserk group. You get fed to zombies? What'd he say? What the fuck? What were you, what were you asking? Joey, uh, that might, uh, what I was going over was, uh, what, what are some of the rules that you would have, um, incorporated within your group if a zombie apocalypse ever did happen? Oh. <laughs> yeah, and, and I said if you like Sword Art Online, you're just getting fed to zombies. <laughs> yeah, it, this like... group supports Berserk. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Dragon Ball. That was actually oh. a, um, a topic we skipped out on. Rules. Yeah, that's what um, I'm going over now. Yeah, yeah. What? Like, uh, so that would be your rule, uh, Julian? Yeah. Yeah, no sword art online. I mean, you yes. can have multiple yep. ones, you know. Uh, let's say you're the leader of your pack. Like, what are some of the things that you teach these people? See, uh, I think... I think teach them what a good manga is. I think at the very start, I'd be kind of like Rick Grimes. Like, where he was like, uh, you kill, you die. True. Because uh, at the beginning, you really need to think about survival more than building yourself back up as a community. Mm -hmm. you, you need know, to just get shit together. You know, I never really watched The Walking Dead. I used to read. Um, I have. Uh, I have most of the volumes. You should read it. It's better. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I, I read it. I read it. I just haven't read the last like three or four volumes. It's a great series, though. Read it. The art, the art is great. 
So I don't know if you guys have ever watched uh, Zombieland. I'm if you have, you're Zombieland. getting fed to zombies. Oh, yeah. Zombieland's a good movie. All right, so pretty much, it's... you know, he goes over uh, a bunch of rules that he uh, he learns over time. Double tap is one of them. I think everybody yeah. needs to do that. Yeah, double tap, well, yeah, is, double tap is a staple. You have to do that. That's, yeah, I that's mean, not you got to make sure the zombies. Bad. That's with people in general. Like, yeah, you're getting chased by a serial killer. Anything try to kill you, you need to double tap that. Pause, pause, pause. Ah, <laughs> uh, phrasing. <laughs> uh, so pretty much, you know, uh, double tap is one. Um, uh, if windows are not your friends. Yeah, stay away from windows. Stay away from windows. No Board matter what. all windows. Uh, keep up your cardio. That's one. Yep. And uh, Don't just be like fat. I said, uh, keeping a very fresh, uh, very fresh uh, comedic uh, sense, I guess, within your group. Uh, can't, can't in other words, enjoy the little thing, the yeah, little yeah. things. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's one yeah. thing. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's probably one of the most important parts. Always check the back seat. Yep. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Who jumps yeah, in the car and not ch check the back seat? Right. <laughs> or I do that on a daily basis anyway. I do that still. Yeah, I do <laughs> it too. Got to do your head check. <laughs> I do that now. <laughs> yeah. I don't want some dude jumping up from my backseat like, hey, give me the money. All of a sudden, Jason right. pop or up. He's like, what's up, nigga? I'm like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. By that point, there's nothing you can do either but listen to this. Right. <laughs> but... Mm. Yeah, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of things that go with the zombie, the zombie apocalypse. People think it's just the zombies. It's not just the zombies. It's it's, it's the people. It's, it's the fear. It's the micromanagement that you'll have uh, once you have a group with you. That's what I hate when people. That's why it's hard to have conversations with people about the. Um, I almost said the Walking Dead, but uh, <laughs> the uh, the apocalypse because. A lot of people would just be like, oh, I'll just go in there wrecking shit. It'd be fun. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, I know. No, That's man, why it's not like that. Those. It would not be fun. And, and, and you're not, if you you're think not about cool. it, man, if you're having a, if you, if you're about to start a family and shit like this goes down, yeah, like what, what would oh, you, yeah. how would you feel if your kid has to grow up in that? And not even that. Nobody's gonna like, like, want you not. to be with them. Exactly. Nobody's thinking about sex right now. Okay. No, not All that. All right, never mind. I'm, I'm talking I'm about... Lying. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you yeah, are right. very much lying. I think a lot of people might end up raping I need people. some relief. But um, I think, <laughs> like, if you're if you're starting a family and you got a kid, you're not going to get accepted by many groups. Yeah. Because you have a kid. Oh. Yeah, he'll slow things down. Not even that. He'll not cry. Even slow. He'll start yeah, crying. It'll cause many problems. Yeah, too many problems. And you're pretty much left alone. Like, you got plenty of problems. Yeah, and that was kind of really one... What? I know A Quiet Place isn't really a zombie movie, but this is kind of relevant. I don't know why you would have a baby, because in A Quiet Place, they have monsters, they were attracted by sound. Yeah, Babies exactly. cause a shitload of sound. Exactly. They need to attract every zombie in the neighborhood. And that's another thing, though. You know, a, a zombie apocalypse could happen. It could happen any time, even as we speak. You know, shit like this could start going down, and somebody could be in the hospital giving birth. Yeah. Uh, somebody... I you're just an easy target. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and and that brings me to uh, that that brings me to uh, something um, we haven't really uh, discussed beforehand is the fact that sacrifices. Like, what are some of the sacrifices that you would give um, to survive? Well, yeah. The end of the hawk. Uh, hold on, uh, you got to be a little more specific. More specifically, um, to survive, what are you willing to give up? To make sure you survive. My left nut, not my right nut. I have to give up a lot of my morals, to be honest. Yeah. A lot of my morals are gone. Yeah. Like if I if I have a baby, I, I don't want to see. I don't want to sound like a. <laughs> no, I, a I jackass. get it. I'm I'm on your side with this. <laughs> if I, I get it. If my baby starts causing some sounds, I'm be like. You <laughs> 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 need the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the no, <laughs> I didn't say all that. All the hate comments are coming your way. I know, right? How did you say that? I'm, That's just, outrageous. I'm just joking. I wouldn't really throw the baby. I'll probably just. I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? God, I just, I'm, sorry. You, you I'm digging don't, myself don't a hole. <laughs> That's what you want if you keep it, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. 
So that's the thing. Oh, like you, uh, like people who might give me some backlash or something about this. That's what I said. I'm dropping my morals. That's yeah, a part of that's it. That's a part of it. Like there, like to to survive. And on uh, on the very fact that it's a zombie apocalypse, how are you going to raise a child? Oh yeah, you you can barely get food. Exactly. Man. Same you place as it is. Baby's gonna starve. Exactly. It, let's say let's say your baby has to be fed uh, milk or Maybe, something. Babies get sick easily. Yeah, they, they get sick. Exactly. They need yeah. uh, regular checkups. Um, they need they, everything. Exactly. Babies are fragile. Although if a if the wind blows on a baby, wrong, will snap the damn baby's neck. Babies are not creatures made for the apocalypse. They're not. No. They're not. no. Like, a lot of people may call you a dick because of that, because morals are still active, because we're not in a zombie apocalypse, but I'm saying, if you were in one, and you kept yours, you and that baby are dead, yeah. pretty much. Exactly. Babies. Your morals Babies. are dying with You're that. You're pretty much a walking siren. Yeah. Okay? Babies literally yeah. have no defensive tools or techniques. All they can do is just hurt your ears. Because not only zombie do you have to worry about you. yourself... It's yeah. like you have to worry about the baby too. Yeah. Like that's just too much. That's too much. Yeah, like the stress will be phenomenal. And I'm not like I'm not saying that I'm a I don't care about the baby or like it's me or the baby or something like that. It's just why get myself killed if if I'm trying to say this in the most uh subtle way. It's just, let, it's let's just, let's just, why, why get myself killed you know with what? the baby when when the the baby can just die. That's not right. That's not right. No. Okay, no, honestly, way, that's, 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 that's a mercy. mercy isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mercy. I don't want to shoot it's the a baby, mercy. no. Like, because who wants to, who wants to raise a baby in, okay. in a world overran by zombies and crap? It's if like, you think yeah, about it, you die. I don't think I'm going to If you die trying to protect that baby. The baby's going to be dead, too. And the baby is going yeah. to die yeah. without you. Right. You, you leave a baby five minutes alone. It, it, like, it's I think dead. it'd be better off if you just survived on your own and then tried to start, you know, population after everything is exactly yeah, down. Yeah, if you have like, a stable area, you're, well, you'll like, be fine. To like, start this is the family, zombie but... apocalypse we're talking about. It's not going to be beautiful. No, it's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's an <laughs> ugly <laughs> world. And then it's not going to go your way at all. N not not yes. whatsoever. Uh -huh. know that people back in caveman times used to have babies, but that was different. That oh, was when we were strong. Humans are way stores. weaker now. Yeah. We're not cavemen. And so no is everybody else. So exactly, <laughs> you're dead. You're, you're dead when you go there. You go to uh, you go to Walmart or something, try to get some food. Somebody's gonna shoot you for that food, or a zombie's gonna snatch you up real quick. Yeah, if it's not already one over the other. One or yeah. the other. Uh, people are gonna act crazy in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's all about them. I mean, uh, at the beginning of la the the Last of Us, okay. Um, Last of Us. The, Last of Us beginning. That made me put down the game for three months because I just wasn't ready. Yeah. So, for example, her, her, his, 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 really uh, his child dies in the very beginning. Yeah. You know. It's, it's sad. Dude. It's sad. It's and she and she was what a teenager? No. She was sad too. She was like thirteen. Like she, she was twelve. Okay. So look, even like twelve years old compared to a little baby that you're carrying. Like what? <laughs> If a if a twelve year old can't protect herself, you know, and, and and the and the thing about that is, it was a person that killed that baby. Yeah. You know, if, yeah, if was, you're with the group, if you're yeah, with the a group, uh, like Shamar said, you won't be accepted into it because that's just dangerous. That's just stupidity. And I'd be one of well, those people. Well, yeah, I mean, to not accept you, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, a twelve year old is a lot more independent than like a four year old. I'd say you'd be less stigmatized. Like if you have like a twelve year old. A 12 year olds can actually be fine. Like, no, not a 12 year old. And... Infants and like toddlers. Yeah, yeah. If, I if still you have, think like, a, a toddler is fine, yeah. though. Toddlers might, might cry, but I think you can teach them how to survive in that world. It what does that take, sound? They just take a little bit of work compared to. Yeah. Someone, compared someone's to mic is freaking out. What does that sound? I don't know. That's not us. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Sorry. I think that's me. I'm trying to. It's cool. Damn it! Hang on. Like you know, um, and and the and the thing that about the zombie apocalypse that um, nobody takes into account is the fact that you're you're going about your regular day, and some shit happens, and you know shit goes down in your uh, in your neighborhood. Your parents could be home. Your girlfriend, your wife. You may not even make it to them. You you won't make it to them. 
You know, that type of thing. They would either die or leave before you even get there. Exactly. Nobody's waiting on you. And then you could, you could, you, know, you could lose your shit because of that. You know, it's not just, it's not just the baby. It's the, it's, it's that the fact that your family uh, could very well be dead. Yeah. You know, and, and, and if you go back there, um, sooner or later, you're going to be, um, you're going to be presented with a choice between killing them um and most likely you're gonna want to you know uh, mercy just like uh julian said oh who is it who, who was it that said that donovan uh, that, was, that was me yeah donovan yeah. said <laughs> sure yeah so what were you saying uh, as I was telling them, you know, um, you know, if you go back to that neighborhood, you know, to go check up on your family, you're going to it's either if they're already dead there, you're going to be presented with the uh, with the choice to have to kill them. Yeah. Um, going back into, to what Donovan said, mercy. Yeah, <clears throat> pretty much. Yeah, you know, you're going to you're going to you're going to have a lot of hatred towards zombies. And that's um, not healthy. And that's not healthy at all. It's not. It's not gonna be good. You're gonna be going out there trying to kill as many as you want uh, as you can, um, but sooner or later you're gonna end up dead. Cause you can't kill millions. Yeah, you're you're that's gonna lose. Impossible. Lo- yeah, like losing family, you'll lose your shit, man. Losing people you love will 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 cause you to lose your shit. I mean, if I if I have to end up killing my dog, I might as well just end up just like. Killing myself, I, I can't kill my dog, man. And I promise you, ninety-five percent of the time, trying to survive the uh, the the zombie apocalypse, you'll be crying. <laughs> you'll be, yeah. You, you'll be you'll be like, <laughs> I can't do this no more. Yeah, yeah, I see zombie. Every second. Be in tears for a bit. yeah, I mean, the moment my dog dies in the apocalypse, I, I'm just I'm done. The apocalypse can make you very paranoid too. Yeah, and, and you know, people people listening uh, the, that'll listen to this, you know, probably are gonna be like, you know, oh, um, not me, uh, not me. No, I'm just I'm trying. I'm going straight to Home Depot right. and Walgreens. <laughs> listen, man, I'm just trying to be re- realistic. <laughs> Walgreens. I'm fine in a zombie apocalypse. I sell propane. I got guns. <laughs> yeah, you know, to, for the people who actually have stockpiled, um. It, they're smart. They're, they're smart. You guys are smart. You guys will actually um, have a possible chance of surviving all the way through. Okay? Because, for one, you guys have already prepared for this to happen. You guys um, have everything that you need for whenever this thing happens. Um, but this is for the people that don't actually have access have, to that Yeah, have had the chance to. Or you money. know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's pretty much money. <laughs> it's all about money, bros. You need money in a house that you paid for. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, when 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 shit like that actually goes down, you you'll end up. Uh, actually, the whole world will end up having to go back to like old um, old everything. Yeah. You know, for the light, you'll need fire. Um, for money, you'll need to trade. You'll yeah. have something of equal value to trade. For example, for food, if you want if you want guns, they'll ask for food or medicine. Yeah. You know that type of thing cuz money, money will not be money's not anything. Anything anymore. during that time. Un- unless you're in the last of us, the um the government was able to uh put down a stronghold for themselves. You know, and uh Yeah. You know, you'll have to work for uh, a ticket to get you some food. Yeah. You know, that that type of thing. Yeah. Yep. I think that's in general. Like, if you build a community back up, you're going to go back to that at some point. Like, some, some point. form. Mm-hmm. Some form of currency. It doesn't have to be a dollar, because where, where the fuck are you going to find some money like that? Mm-hmm. Like, you would probably... Like, uh, let's say, uh, <clears throat> Fallout. Bottle caps. Exactly. Like, they're, they're, they're all... They're all um, there'll always be some type of... Some form of currency. Like, once you build community back up, it's gonna like we just pretty much restart everything, going back up to where we were in some form or fashion. It won't be exactly like it was, like how we are now, comfy and shit like that. No, it's all about working at that point. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's all about working now. You gotta earn. Not, you not gotta like earn that. your. Uh, you gotta earn it. Yeah. You know, in uh, State of Decay, uh, the game, um, pretty much you'll end up. Uh, you'll gain influence the more you do things for the for the compound. 
you know, and that influence will allow you to either buy food, buy weapons, buy, you know, but like shit like that's expensive, man, and it's hard work. It is. Man, it's, and you, you know, even, even after you, uh, get settled in, in, in some area, just like, um, uh, Rick, uh, Rick Grimes and his group were able to, uh, stay at that jailhouse for a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they still had problems of people, of people, rebel. It was, it was all people. Yeah. Re- rebel groups and, uh, the chance of getting overrun. Cause, yeah. Cause no matter what your uh, your your defenses will start to fall apart. Actually, not even just overrun. Uh, well, not even rival groups. Like that all plays a part into overrun because uh, if we're talking about the Walking Dead here, that other group wanted to overrun them and overtake their place mm. because it was better. You always got somebody else you trying to take your shit. So you got people trying to overrun you and zombies. So this podcast is about how evil people are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah, there was, there was this whole thing about killing the baby. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we're doing that baby a favor. You are doing the baby a favor. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yourself. Too bad that's not how everybody's going to look at it. Exactly. And that's one of the things that would cause a problem. That's the thing. More morals. Like, morals, like, it's what, it's what um, people have. Um, that could either either be their downfall or you know what helps them out in the future. But you know, for the most part, with the, with the society that we have right now, uh, especially Ooh. if something like this were to happen right now at this time of age, like uh, the things like uh, people being so um, okay, I don't want to go there, but um, the, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get too. I don't want to get too. Uh, um, I want to. I don't want to dig myself a hole here, but you know. Um, don't want to get too political up in here. Yeah, well, you know, with, with, with the things that uh, people um, are fighting for at this very moment. Like, um, like let's say, uh, abortion. Yeah. You, you know, that type of thing. People who, people who, um, who go against abortion are pre- pretty much uh, most likely going to say, no, no, don't do that, don't do that, you know. But uh, honestly... Like if if a zombie apocalypse was to happen, the best choice um, would be to just sacrifice. Sacrifice because for one, you're doing that you're doing that child a favor, and you're doing yourself a huge favor. Yeah. And oh, okay. So he, I got a, I got a good one for all, everybody. So going back on the baby thing, right? We say we get rid of a baby. Because it caused many problems, and you wouldn't be able to uh, keep it alive anyway. So, what if, what if it were um, not just not your kid, but like your sibling's kid or your mom's kid, like newly born kid or something like that, or like your best friend or something like that? What would you do? Like, would you just leave them behind, or would you get rid of their baby, or would you like let them stay with you? What would you do? Okay, in, in what context, I, I, though? Uh, if uh, are you dead? Are you alive? What do you mean? Are we dead? Like, right? is the is the is the father of the child or the mother of the child alive? No, or dead? everybody's alive. Okay, everybody's alive, including the baby. Everybody. Like, what would you do about that situation? Well, going back to rules, no babies. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> not right now, anyways. <laughs> but you know that's gonna. They're yeah. gonna they're That's going to cause a problem. You're going to lose some friends. You're going to gain some enemies. You're going to lose friends or family because yeah. of that. The like, well, thing is, I have to have a long, like, serious talk with whoever has this baby and be like, look, here's what's going to go. Here's what's going to go down. Like, you can choose to keep the baby, but you're going to have a lot of problems specifically on your own if you're not willing to, if the time should God forbid, if the time shouldn't have to come where you'd have to choose, you know, between your life and, you know, the life of, like, your friends or your family or whatever yeah. and the babies, you know? And, and it's like, look, if you if you want to keep this baby, just know you may get kicked out of your group and you possibly could die trying to protect yourself and the baby because it's going to attract a lot of uh, attention, but... Like, it's going to be ultimately up to them, but if I had to abandon them, I mean, 
I guess I would have to abandon them because yeah. I don't know if yeah. I could like just and you know, make and that decision for them. They have to make it for themselves. And it's know? not like it's uh, not impossible to raise a baby in the apocalypse. Like it's it's possible, but it's just very hard. There's a huge risk with that. Like yeah, you're with going, your life and the baby's yeah. life and other people's lives. You'll you'll end up going through hell trying to keep that baby. Yeah, like. You'd sacrifice many other, uh, many other people, including your own, for a baby. One one human being. You're pretty much losing population for one. Yeah. First off. So so that yeah that's the thing actually uh you know um, um. Uh, pretty much serving the 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 cause here, man. You know you're um, uh let's say, you're you're trying to you're getting rid of one, to save the masses. But that's the that's the thing though. Um, people would be like, "What if I don't want to save them? I don't know these people." Yeah, yeah I mean, you know? it's the thing. I mean, it comes. Mm-hmm. With, I mean, it's their choice ultimately, but it comes with its own like consequences either way. Exactly. Yeah, so, it is their choice. So it's like they're gonna like keep the baby around and possibly lose some friends and shit. But, I just know if it was mine, I'm, I'm not being an asshole or anything. It's just. I, I feel I, like it's the sensible thing to do. For one, I don't want my kid growing up in that kind of... They grow up horrible. Yeah, I don't want them to grow up in that type of uh, um, uh, environment. For one... Maybe, they I'll, could be grown up strong too. I mean, if you think about it, you're, you're, you're raising your kid to, uh, you know, uh, to shoot guns. Yeah, to only be a fighter, to be um, honest. To not trust anybody. Yeah. To, um... Yeah. You know, to make like sure that if fun. you're with a group, make sure to save yourself. And that's all they would know. They yeah. won't know morals. No morals whatsoever. Like, what what else could you teach a kid during the zombie apocalypse? You know, Nothing, just, except for survival. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, kind of speaking of, well, just on the topic of zombies. What's not up? really related to the current subjects, but apparently the Resident 2 remake on PlayStation... The file size is just over 21 gigabytes. Jesus Christ. Oh. So much. That game 21 is, gigs. That's a lot of gigs to me. Yeah, I barely have any space. That's left. for the physical copy? Uh, let me look. Because I know downloading it, it costs more. more space. Let me check. That could just be physical. It's going to be, I hope it gets released soon. It's going to be really fun. I oh, know that's on the Microsoft Store. Um, yeah, yeah, that's on the Microsoft Store. So I'm guessing, yeah, it'll just be the uh, regular uh, size if you're gonna download it. So that's yeah, that's not too much. I mean, I have like the standard 500 gig PlayStation. It's not insane. I mean, Red Dead is 100 gigs. Oh man. Yeah, I can see that. Resident Evil 2 is going to be fun. The remake. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yes. The, I will... So... My boy Leon. Hell yeah. So about... um, we, We've only talked about the negative. What do you think are some positive things that could happen in the apocalypse? <laughs> That's a hard question. Well, first uh, off... <clears throat> first <personal>. off... <clears throat> My lust is kicking in. Um, oh my you're god! You're gonna get plenty of the. That's a lot of facts. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a lot. <laughs> Just saying. Once oh. the, once you get their head clear, you're good to go. Well, hey hey hey, girl, I'm a bit tense. There's no picking. You know and, there's no picking and Thank choosing god. once you like if you're in a small group. Right. Like if uh-huh. somebody's gonna sleep with somebody. If or you're just or multiple, un- yeah, or multiple, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're unlucky, then oh, I'm the sorry. Lord. Unless the only girl in your uh, in your group is your sister, then you're you're fucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you're sick. I would. That's the <laughs> morally in my head. I can't. No. I mean, you're human. It's part of the. It's part of. It's part of it. You know. It's. It's part of us. Well, I mean, let, let's think of a non incest benefit. I mean, the guy the guy you don't like, he's probably dead. 
Yeah. That, that, that part's nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, <laughs> what, that's what taking on me is six <laughs> you'll, enjoy, you'll enjoy shooting his zombie corpse, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and I don't know when I'll stop either. <laughs> Oh, another I thing, though. This is for calling my dog a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm gonna say is uh, free stuff. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna grab myself a, a, a generator, a, a battery or something. Everything and then, uh, is yours for the taking. Exactly. I'm gonna go back to windmills and then, uh, you know, uh, fucking PS4, you know, whatever. You think Let me get all them JoJo art books for free, please. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, all the new Jojonium I can want. Hell <laughs> yeah. You know, I never got Why do they shoot EMPs in the air? Uh, to turn off all the uh, electronics. electronics. Yeah. Oh, it's less of turning them off and more so just frying them. Frying them, yeah. yeah. What? EMPs just completely obliterate them. That sucks, though. Like, that gets rid of... I mean, it's a pro and... It has pros and cons to it, obviously, but... I mean, if you're dumb enough to have loud ass music going down the street or something, you're gonna fucking die. That's your fault. Right. Be responsible. You know what I mean? Like EMP and everything, and you're screwing the whole world of communication. Like we kind of need that to survive. Right. Like yeah, we can communicate like with our close by people, but what if there is a safe haven somewhere and we could rebuild there? How would everybody know? Okay, so. That that brings me to uh, a little point here. When a zombie apocalypse does happen, um, a little bit of politics is going to occur. For example, if if a zombie apocalypse uh, begins in America, um, uh, the reason for EMPs are probably going to be for uh, um, either to shut down uh, nuclear warheads for whoever is going to try to attack America while it's in its very um, that's fucking stupid too. Like it, while it's while it's in its weak point. Like yeah. while it's weak, um, its defenses are down. They're having a little bit of. Uh, they're having a crisis. Um, somebody is going to attack. Yeah. You know, and I find that I find that very stupid because instead of helping, very stupid. They're they're wanting to get rid of opposition. I mean, I get the fact that uh, if it stays in America, then it's only local to America, but. If you think about it, the landmass itself is not just America. It's uh, it's Canada. You have uh, Mexico, Mexico. Everything. You have everything all the way down to... All the Mexico's way... not that far from South America. Exactly. South America. They can... Zombies can get there some kind of way. Yeah, and if it was like... Uh, I, I don't know which uh, of the dead movie it is, but uh, they can swim. No, they can walk on water. In water? Underwater? Yeah, they, no, it was, they were walking on the... Like the bottom of the ocean, I think it was. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if that were to ever happen, then either way, everything is fucked. <laughs> and then uh, another thing is that zombies don't breathe. They're going to yeah. float. Yeah. They could float to another shore easily. Like, it's not like they'll die at sea. They don't fucking... They're, they're dead. <laughs> well, I mean, they kind of could die, like the crashing currents. They like, could get, the yeah, they can get floor. crushed. Yeah. But, um, you know, not every zombie would get crushed. Like, one one single zombie could make it and ruin the whole world. Yeah, exactly. Like, other countries would be pretty much screwing, or us, depending on where the zombie apocalypse starts, could be screwing the whole world pretty much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, at that point, you need to think about humanity, because we have a common threat, pretty much. Like, oh God. You know, for something like that to like when something like that happens, you're not going against humanity anymore. You're going up against a pandemic. Yeah. You know, this is a joint effort. Like, um, if if nobody works together, um, to stop this, uh, nip it in the butt, pretty much, or like cut the cut the head off of the, you know, uh, cut the head off of the snake, then you, you're you're pretty much just uh, causing uh, the inevitable. Yeah, pretty much. I know this is like off topic, but like if a if an alien invasion happens, we're fucked <laughs> easily. <laughs> First off, they're intelligent and probably more intelligent than us. Yeah, to um, travel yeah. through space time, yeah. To get to us in the first place, yeah. They're they're more advanced and uh, yeah, we're dead. 
Oh, dude. Could I, thought, you imagine I just wanted to throw that out there so we don't have a podcast about that because we know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, especially if we get, like, the aliens from destroy all humans, like crypto. <laughs> Jesus it doesn't Christ. matter what zombie. I mean, what alien you get. I think if you get any form of an alien, we're dead. You know, I actually watched right. this. Uh, Dude, it was a Netflix original. The and... actual alien. Thanos. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Dude, xenomorphs. Hell yeah. Uh, but no, there oh, was no. a there was a Netflix original that I watched, and um, pretty much the aliens were the humans who escaped Earth. Oh, I saw. You saw that? I didn't watch it, but I, I saw a review, review on it. It's, it's called like an Extinction. Right? And Isn't no, it? no, you have it wrong. No, I get Extinction. Well, you, oh, no, I'm thinking about Unless you're about to explain it. Well, yeah, they escaped Earth because the synthetics, pretty much the synths, um, have, um, have taken, over, have taken over. And uh, the only way for the humans to survive is to escape to Mars and then later on, they come back. The synths lost all their memory of that occurrence uh, in the past. And they think and then they human. think, Yeah, and they think they're the humans, and the humans uh, from, from Mars are the aliens. Yeah, coming, coming back to take Earth. Yeah. So I, I thought that was pretty neat. But, it it was. Know. And they, they wear these little suits, so you think they're aliens the whole time. I mean, if you think about it, we can actually incorporate that into, uh, into this. Um, anybody, anybody seen, uh, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, something to do with Mars. Ice Cube was in it. Oh, uh, Ghost of Mars. Ghost of Mars, you know. I guess that's a form of magic and uh, form of magic and uh, parasitic type thingy that turns people into crazy fuckers. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's always with aliens. It's always parasitic. It's never a, a disease. You know that. You know, even that could you know bring in all of itself uh, something yeah. worse. You know. But I don't know, zombie, zo- a, a zombie apocalypse can happen in multiple different ways. Uh, just the viruses themselves. Uh, it could start with the animals. It could be fucking aliens, for all I care. Somebody uncovers some sort of magical tombstone that releases some sort of curse. Right. Uh, that type of thing. Because, um, I mean, people are superstitious like that. Honestly, I don't really um, believe in magic to be real, per se. Um, Cause I've honestly I've never seen it happening. You know, I have to see it to believe it. You know. I hate when people talk about the uh, how how people can be reanimated or like there's a bunch of ghosts at uh, burial grounds of Native Americans. I'm like, dude. Yeah. They're yeah. not magic people. That's like, a, come on. Yeah, that's superstition right there. That's Native Americans are not magic people. Like. I mean, technically, they're, they're talking like about else. zombie apocalypse is superstition, you know. But like, um, with the with the things that we um, we're working on now, like, uh, where I don't know if this is true, but they're you know, let's just say they're trying to create a vaccine or a cure for cancer, and it, could, it could turn into uh, you know something completely horrible and it could spread. Right. It leaks, you know, that type of thing. You know, something can happen because at this day and age. You know, uh, we're we're going through a lot of advancements in technology and science. Um, so yeah, I, I don't I don't see it being too far f- you know far fetched. I mean, shit, bath salts can make you a zombie. Yeah, we had that happen. <laughs> we had that happen. <laughs> Dude was eating a guy's face. He yeah, got shot seven times, still kept up. going. What? I was about to bring that up too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it very possible but <clears throat> um before we end it and everything i want to i want to talk about something really fun real quick so um this is just for shits and giggles um but like in a real world sense not like anime characters and stuff like that but um what would be your what would be your like staple weapon for yourself oh um can I go like, can we go like, full edgy as possible? Like the dumbest shit in malls would slice up your own arm. As long as you, you can like incorporate it into the real world, yeah. Um, fuck. Mine would be my vehicle. I drive crazy anyways. 
Shit. That thing will break down that toe. Well, I mean, if I pimp it out, you know what I'm saying? I guess. If I pimp it out with some of the dead. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead type thing. I want an electrified chainsaw with a flamethrower on it. I mean, that's actually possible. It's doable. That's doable. Yeah. It's quite yeah. dangerous. <laughs> not, not yeah. You're gonna burn yourself, yeah, cut you can... yourself, and then electrocute yourself. I think it'd backfire on you, blow up, or electrocute you. Hey, it'd still be a cool way to go out. Yeah, true, true. I wanna, I would, I would probably make a, a gun sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say two words, gun chucks. Yeah. Oh my gun god, chucks. <laughs> yeah. <That's Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> You're just swinging around, you're gonna shoot yourself through the gun face. Sucks. <laughs> I'd either have a gun sword or like some like mechanism like built sword. with my sword to not make it melt, of course, and like have a 3,000 3, degree sword or 300 degree sword or whatever it is. Mm. That temperature they talk about in the, the you know, that meme that's, that's been going back then. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would have one to like make it like that forever because it'll be constantly burning. So I can just slice through shit like Star Wars. I can carterize yeah, the fuck out of shit. Cool. Yeah. Like, like, honestly, if, if I were to have an actual weapon with me, like my staple, like, uh, if my if my guns were to ever run out of bullets, uh, what I would be carrying is either a copus or, um, or something along that line. Like the, I don't know, I forgot what the, um, the Roman sword were called. Um. It's a single, a single, a single edged, um, sword. And it was kind of arched, and it has some pretty good reach. Yeah. You know, so you won't be getting too close to the zombies, but you'll still have a weapon um, that's sharp, and they're not easily broken. You know. Yeah. Because yeah, those things were built for war. Yeah. You know, you know, not just not just like a skirmish, but they were built for war. You know. I want a battle axe. Yeah. Man, well, <laughs> a battle axe would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you want a battle axe, I want the uh, I want the. Um, Dragonborn shouts. You know what I'm saying? Can I, uh, can I get the Dragon Slayer from Berserk? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good luck swinging that thing. Yeah, what? <laughs> That's like getting a Dark Souls weapon. Yeah, what? I was about to say, why don't you just go as Nightmare? Okay. <laughs> they, Wait, no, let me get the Super Shotgun from They, they built a real uh, uh, great sword in real life, and it's impossible to pick up. I was about to say, I bet it was heavy. You can just lift it. I mean, only the handle, pretty much. I mean, technically, it's not impossible if if the blade itself is not heavy. Like if it was made out of a metal that was light. Mm -hmm. um, like for example, uh, a longsword, um, um, a Highland longsword. Uh, what William Wallace carried when he was uh, going up against the English. It's not bulky though. It's yeah, it's not, not, a not great bulky. Sword. It's 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 long. It's a, it's a longsword. It has two yeah. handles, two separate handles that you can hold. Mm -hmm. um, you know. And I find that to be pretty dope. I don't think I can carry it, cause <laughs> for for one, it's probably taller than I am. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're the shorties. But um. I would go um, full on to see Jones. One last happens. one last question before we uh, end it. How long do you think you would survive the the apocalypse? Like in all honesty. A month. I'm not even sure. Uh, I'm gonna give I'm myself gonna the benefit of the doubt and say two years. I wouldn't say that. Like I, for myself, wouldn't say the whole thing. Like I don't think so. Cause who knows how long that shit's gonna last. Well, I mean, uh, I I'll probably research. die to some other person if I'm totally honest. Maybe. Right. Like more likely. Just, just to be honest though, um, I, I did a, I did a bit of research about like how long it would last, and um, they did say it would last about a thousand years, um, a th thousand years. Excuse me, a thousand days. Um, oh, um, yeah, that's that's like three years. Yeah, so pretty much, um, if if ever we were able to start rebuilding, like for example, in the case of Rick Grimes and his crew, um, they started rebuilding. They've had a pretty big group. Um, after after that event, like if not if if everything goes well, then they'd be able to rebuild within a thousand days. Yeah, you know uh, they'd be That's able a, yeah. to create a, str a stronghold and strike back, take back everything. Um, but you know, in that context, then I'd probably last a year. I think um, I would last. 
I think I could last all the way through as long as um, I don't get fucked with by other people because decisions are hard to make in some 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 of those like scenarios and like some of your decisions don't even matter because some people just want to straight up kill you yeah so yeah Yeah. knowing me knowing myself you know i the reason i die within a year is due to the fact that i'll probably be stupid and do some sort of heroics the the topic that we 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 talked about not to do i just (laughs) think somebody else would kill me i honestly think that because i'm not just gonna let you take my shit yeah Right. I mean, if, even if I do, you're still killing me because I have nothing left. And I have no protection or anything. No food, no nothing. So you're right. technically still killing me. So another person would end up killing me. If if it, if it's not that, though, if I don't... If I get lucky and just... I mean, I'm going to run into people, but if I don't get some crazy asshole... I would survive. I think so. Well, no, nah, I take that back. I wouldn't survive. I'd last um, maybe about a year or two also because of food. I think I died from food or a person. I'm probably going to bump me up to three months. I'll die from constipation. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that would. I mean, imagine going to, just to go to take a shit, you're always I don't paranoid. I take a shit anywhere. Bro, you're paranoid. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Dude, you better take a shit running. You're defenseless when you're on the toilet. You better take a shit running. <laughs> I would. I get desperate. When you're desperate, you don't think about that. I'm gonna tell y'all just. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If I ever find myself in a carnival and I see a zombie clown, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm not yeah, coming I, back I, there. I, I'm not dealing with any zombie clowns. Yeah, no, I'm not coming no. back there at all. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but um. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and end the podcast. I had a, I, I thought this was a really good topic though. Like we had a lot to say. This was a fun topic. It was. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll be doing. I won't reveal what we're doing next time to the audience, but um, we have it in the the chat if y'all want to know what we're doing next. Just scroll uh, up. And um. I'm gonna do that right now because I don't know. Same. Yeah, and that'll be all. See you guys. Thank you for watching or listening. Pretty much, and um, make sure. To, well, I don't really care to be honest, but um, subscribe and um, follow my dead social media because I don't get on it often <laughs> anymore. And um, if you want to see me stream, I will be streaming on weekends sometimes. Like I still have a busy schedule doing other things sometimes. Um, and you can follow Julian Honecker at the Julian Honecker Fan Club on Facebook. Yeah, you can. You can you can find Don Donovan um, at Yang. What is it? Yang one two three. Uh, three two one three. Yang three two one three on um, YouTube or PSN. And you can find me JP on Twitch under O Z A K U R E N. You can slow that down when you're listening to this, by the way. I was gonna get a Twitch, that's cool. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so. Bye bye!